Hey, what's up, YouTube? Russell Amorous. I'm back with more videos. Huh? It's quite surprising. So, BET released their nomination for the 2013 BET Awards. And you guys could always go see who was nominated. Um, I guess it switched it up a little bit. First of all, they have Best Female R&B Slash Pop category, as well as Best Pop Male R&B, whatever. So, um, they say that Chris Rock is supposed to be the performer. Um, not perform the host, so he's pretty good with hosting these different gigs. Um, best female R&B, Beyonce, Tamar Braxton, Alicia Keys, Rihanna, L. Varner. Um, Alicia Keys should win it, or Tamar. Rihanna only had Diamonds, which I don't know if BET even played that. And um, Beyonce didn't release anything. Where is Keisha Cole? Regardless of how much you dislike or like her. She had put out music that was being played on BET. Um, also, where's Brandy? Make you fall in love. I'm gonna put it down. How come that's not nominated at all in any category? I mean, best collaboration. All the collaborations up there are all basically rap songs. And where's Sierra? And where's Kelly Rowland? Um, where are these different artists? There are four females that they could have nominated besides for Beyonce, and they put her once again in that category. Best Male, um, Chris Brown, Bruno Mars, Miguel, Justin Timberlake, Usher. Usher didn't really release anything this year. But I guess he has stuff in the time period. Best Group, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Mary Mary, Miles Behavior, Slaughterhouse, The Throne. The Throne hasn't released anything from what I know. Maybe they had that, I don't know, church in a while. But Slaughterhouse, is, what do they release? Aren't they a record label, not a group? I guess there's not enough groups to pick from. Um, um, best collaboration, Two Chains featuring Drake, No Lies, AS ASAP Rocky, um, Problems, French Montana, Pop That, Kendrick Lamar, Poetic Justice, Justin Timberlake, Suit and Tie, Kanye West, Mercy. Now wow, Justin hasn't been nominated since on Crime and River Day, so it's big good looks to him being the one of the only of white people in well, they have Two white people this year. So that's a big look for. Uh, that's a big deal for a BET. They have two white people nominated. Three, because that's a group. Um, what do I think is gonna win? Um, I'm just surprised for best coloration. It's all men that rap. But you know who I give it to besides for Justin? Um, I'll say Poetic Justice or Mercy. Problems was a good song too, but I'll say Poetic Justice because I was just, just that big. Best male hip hop artist: Two Chains, uh, a ASAP Rocky, Drake, Future, Kendrick Lamar. It'll be between Kendrick. Yeah, I think Kendrick should take it. Kendrick should just take that award home. He's a new guy on the scene. He's the new it guy. He's doing big things right now. And, you know, he just taking on the rap scene. I mean, Drake only really has started from the bottom too much for as far as music videos. Um, best female hip hop artist. You have Nicki Minaj. You have Rashida from uh, Real Housewives. Uh, not even Real Housewives. Love and Hip Hop. Uh, 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 uh. What's the Rashida song? Make him want to marry me. Don't want to make him want to marry me. Chewing on that bubble, yum. You have Eve, Eve, uh, who's that girl? You have um, Azalea Banks as well. You have Ray Ray. Who, who's Ray? Oh, Ray Ray's that girl that has a song, whatever, who didn't really chart well. Um, Nicki Minaj, obviously. They might give it to Azalea Banks just to be a little, you know, sneaky sneak because they gave it to Nicki Minaj three years in a row because she had no competition. Um, video of the year, two change, no lies. ASAP Rocky, Problems, Drake, Star from the Bottom, Drake, and featuring um, Lil Wayne, Hell Yeah, Fuck Right, um, Kendrick Lamar, Poetic Justice, um, Thrift Shop with uh, Macklemore, Miguel with The Dorm, Rihanna with Diamonds, Justin Timberlake with Sue and Ty, Kanye West with Mercy. I don't know who should take that home, but I do have to say there's too many people are nominated. Um, some of these videos could have been taken out of the way. Um, some of these videos are really just basically people just walking around. The songs are good. For instance, um, Diamonds. Diamonds was a great song. Number one for like four or five, eight weeks, whatever. 
it can take that out of there. Um, Mercy was a good video. Thrust Shot was a good video. Poetic Justice. I don't remember No Lies. I don't remember. Problems was just in front of a white screen, so that doesn't really count as a good video. Soon Tight. Uh, um, best New Artist. Zaya Banks. Joey Badass. Kendrick Lamar. Chanda James. The Weeknd. Kendrick Lamar is going to take that home. Close second, I should say, should be either Azalea Banks. Yeah. No, Trinidad James, maybe. But Kendrick Lamar, obviously, is going to take that home. Um, You know, there are other stuff as well being nominated. Um, Again, BT guys need to stop nominating Beyonce and Rihanna for all these awards. Just because their name is there doesn't mean people are going to actually come watch the show. If you're gonna nominate them, make sure they're actually releasing stuff on your account. Actually, I'm gonna go check to see if they even release anything at all. Um, where's like all the other people? I feel like it's always the same people always nominated every single year at these award shows for, especially BT. I mean, Beyonce nominated again. What has she done recently? Um, I mean, she's doing a lot, but as far as having music really, because now don't forget BT Awards, you have to release stuff from March 2000, April 1st, my birthday, of April 1st of 2012, all the way up into March 31st, 2013. So if you don't release anything, nothing of yours is going to be able to get nominated because that's their cutoff period. You know, you have cutoff periods, you can't have something come out and um, expect it to, you know, be nominated when it's not in the time frame. So let's see, she had Dance For You, right? That was a song that was on this album that was released in, I was like, in 2011 music video was released November 29th so that couldn't have been a reason only thing I could think of that she had as a music video was um I was here which came out let's see live video came out guess maybe it was during that time that video could have been out to be nominated so they always nominate Beyonce they scratch that off fuck Beyonce right now she hasn't done anything she's an amazing performer whatever but she hasn't released any music videos to be nominated you see what I'm saying so they're just giving her there just to get ratings or whatever um but again Keisha Cole could have got nominated Brandy could have got nominated Sierra and Kelly Rowland Kelly Rowland had a kiss down low Video that could have gotten out. Let's see when that was released. Cause I couldn't release too late. Cause the ice thing wasn't good enough to be nominated. I don't think. But um, you guys should follow me on Instagram. It is J. It's no. It's R U S S E L L M I L L S nine one. That's my Instagram. My Twitter is the same thing, but with the J in front. It's J R U S S E L L nine one. And uh, so Keisha Cole Stang attacked me on there because I pulled a picture. I was like, really? For no reason. Oh, yeah, Kelly Rowland's video was able to get nominated. Um, hopefully, she will perform. Hopefully, Sierra will perform. Hopefully, um, Chris Brown. Our Kelly already not are slated to perform, so that's a good look. Um, Chris Brown, hopefully, you do better than that performance you did at that whatever concert you did because you wasn't sound too good at all. Um, if he wants to become this big singer dancer thing, he needs to actually practice and learn how to sing and dance at the same time or choose to dance because singing isn't that good. And when you record the music, make sure you sing notes that you know you're going to be able to perform live. Don't go in the studio and say, I want to hit this high C5, and you know, you can't reach that without auto tune. And then you get on the stage, you try to sing, and you crack, and you don't do it. Know your limits. Amber Russell of YouTube. Subscribe to the show at the top. Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment at the bottom. Peace.